All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Dad Over Ego. I'm your host, Jacob Chandler. Today, uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple and just show you how to set up Wheelio on your Shopify store. There are a lot of pop-ups out there, but most pop-ups tend to get a, a 4 to 5% conversion rate if they're just kind of a general pop-up that you make in Klaviyo or MailChimp or use you know, like Just Uno or Privy. Um, but I really like Wheelio just because it kind of gamifies the process where you can get conversion rates. We've seen clients get up to like a 28, 30% conversion rate. Uh, on average, what we've seen across the board is a 20% conversion rate right with Twilio. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I set it up for clients and the things that I'm thinking about when I'm setting it up uh, to either one, increase the average order value or two, increase the conversion rate with Twilio itself. Um, so to start, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to upload your logo, uh, and then you can upload a small logo for the middle. Uh, I'm setting up for a client right now. It's a jewelry brand, so um, I'll upload the logo in a little bit. For the text up here, though, so since they're selling jewelry, what I usually like to put in here is like, hey, would you like to win a free pair of earrings? Or would you like to win a free necklace if you're selling apparel? Would you like to win a free shirt? But I'm just going to put, uh, would you like to win a free pair of earrings all right so that's what I'll put in there and then for the guiding text so it's naturally starts off with saying you have a, a chance to win a nice a big fat discount are you ready um, what I like to put here is just put spin to enter and then I usually like putting a few breaks so to put a break in you do less than br greater than and then I like doing two, so less than, BR, greater than. And then for the next section, I like having it in bold. And what I want to put in here is, so you just do, oh, you don't put that backslash in yet. You do B. So I'll start it being bold. And for this next section here, what I like, it ha what I like having it say is, um, make sure your email is active since we emailed it at winners. Because what you're going to notice oftentimes with Vileo is, one, yeah, you're getting a higher conversion rate, but two, uh, the, the amount of active emails tends to go down and you start getting shittier emails. So I just like having in there, make sure your, your email is active since we email the winners. Exclamation point, and then I end the bold, so backslash B uh, in there. Um, and then you can leave this the same. I usually like changing in the disclaimer text, this the 10 minutes to 15 minutes people feel like they have a little bit more time for the background color I always make the background color white because it kind of makes it look cleaner and then the font color I make the font color black and then for coupons what we like to do with Wheelio is have it land on one thing hundred percent of the time but for the first one we're not actually gonna put these coupons in but I'm gonna have this one say free earrings so this is one of the coupons that they're going to see before the wheel spins, and I'll show you in a little bit. And this one could say, you know, 10% off. This one, now you just kind of want to make it say, like, free shipping. And then I usually make coupon 7, the one that they actually spin and win. And I always make it, for most of the brands we work with, a buy two, get one free offer. And the idea behind that is, is you really want to just increase the average order value. So if you can get somebody to buy two things instead of just one, you're gonna increase your average order value by like twofold, basically. Uh, yeah, you're giving an item away, but if you're selling a high margin item like jewelry or t-shirts, uh, t-shirts that aren't print on demand, uh, then you wanna do a buy two, get one free, just because you have the margin to play with and it's gonna increase your average order value, which in turn is gonna help your advertising. Um, so here I used to do buy two, get one free. And then in this case, I'm just gonna do buy two items, get one free. And then we can just go back down in here and we'll do, you know, 5% off. And then here we can do another free shipping. So one thing I also like to do is the buy two, get one free deal when I add it in. I always like flanking it by shittier offers, right? So somebody lands on that. They see this, the things that they almost won by it. That's free shipping and 5% off. And then they're grateful that they won um, the buy two items, get one free. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have it land on this 100% of the time. And another reason why I like having it land on that 100% of the time is you can set up your email automation sequence based on what they landed on. 
So if you know for a fact that they're landing on that when they sign up via Wheelio, uh, when you connect this to Clavio or to MailChimp, you can say, hey, I noticed you, know, you spun the wheel and one buy two, get one free. Here's the discount you spun in one. Um, make sure you use it today before it expires, like that kind of thing. Um, so we're just gonna turn the gravity down on all of these other ones besides the buy two, get one free to zero so it doesn't land on them. Buy two, get one free, we're gonna do 100%, and the other ones we're all gonna make zero. So now what this is saying is it's gonna land on the buy two items, get one free 100% of the time. And we don't have the discount made yet, um, but I'll just make it buy two G B two G one buy two get one um, just for the for the time being. And then at this point, if you're in Wheelio doing this with me, I'm gonna ask you to save it. But oftentimes, uh, if you forget to save it, something will happen, and then it's not worth the trouble. Uh, it just takes a second to save it, so just save it at this point. Um, so now we have all that updated. And the reason I changed this default text to 15 minutes here is because it's default text for the coupon code bar is 15 minutes. So I just like leaving that 15 minutes there. Um, I do like having the progress bar on. So this happens and pops up uh, after somebody signs up for the wheel. So I usually like saying, you know, 87% of people claim the offer. So it looks like, hey, a lot of people that spun the wheel um, are using the offer that they spun in one. So I usually like changing that there. Um, and then when it comes to show on desktop and mobile, um, I always leave these settings the same here. I like having it come up only on X and intent. That way if somebody's about to leave the page, I wanna capture their email. Um, I don't usually have it come up after a certain amount of seconds and I don't really like using the pull tab. Um, but what I do like changing is the, the amount of time Wheelio comes up. So it's always 30 days by default. I normally make that 180 days just because I don't want somebody going to your website and thinking they can just keep going back, back, back and spinning the wheel. You know, Cause either one, you have the people that just want to do it so they can try to get a different discount. And the, the other people are the people that actually like your company and go back to the website. And they're just going to be getting annoyed by your, your Wheelio pop-up. Um, so I have it come up either once or twice a year. You can make this 180 days or 365 days. Um, so you can do that and then I, I save it again. You can see I save often because I've been burned in the past. When it comes to auto inject coupon at checkout, I don't necessarily use that. You can, um, I haven't. GDPR, uh, if you're marketing to people in Europe, you're gonna wanna have that on uh, just because you, yeah, you, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get a law, in a lawsuit uh, because of that. So definitely have that enabled if you're marketing to Europe. Uh, you can do things like SMS bump. Um, I'm a big fan of email. Uh, SMS is good too. Uh, I just like email better. Uh, Recart Messenger, you can do that. Um, that's not as good as SMS bump or email would be, but you could do that. Messenger only mode. You could do that as well. Um, but yeah, so that's how I set up Wheelio. Um, and then just to give you an idea of how it would look, I'll actually upload their logo real fast because I'm going to want to go to their website anyway just to show you. Um, this is just onboarding a client here. So what you may do is may click preview to see the pop-up. And if you're in Chrome, it's not going to let it do it. So you're just going to have to allow pop-ups and redirects from Wheelio. So now it should work. Here's their website. So now I okay, go to leave and it pops up like that. So it's like clean looking with the white background. 87% um, of offers claim it shows like, oh, people are actually doing this. Would you like to win a free pair of earrings? Of course, uh, a girl that we're sending to the website would want to win a free pair of earrings. Then they can easily see, this is why we made it bold. Make sure your email is active since we email the winners. And that helps a lot when setting up the drip sequence uh, to uh, the Wheelio list. So, well, I mean, we can just test it out here, test at test.com. And I'd bet you $1,000 it's going to land on, buy two items, get one free. And there it did. So we knew it landed on that. That's where the drip sequence will start coming in. Um, a good amount of people will use it right here, but the majority of people won't use it right here. This is why you want to have a three email sequence to this list, reminding them of the discount code that they signed up for and educating them on the brand a little bit. So you can really maximize the emails. And I have a good uh, video on email automation that you can set up that I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking out um, to give you more ideas on the, the Wheelio email sequence. Um, but that's how you set up Wheelio. 
Uh, I think it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to set up. Um, and then what you're just going to want to do after you set it up is connect it to your ESP, so your email pro provider. So MailChimp, um, we highly recommend Clavio. It's definitely our favorite. Um, but there's these these other ones in here as well. Um, but yeah, so that's how we set up Wheelio. That's how we recommend doing it, especially if you're an e-commerce brand to increase your average order value and doing with it, doing it with a buy two items, get one free or buy more, get one type offer. If you are already like a high end brand, you can do a 10, 20 percent off. It's not going to hurt anything, but uh, we're just big believers in the higher the average order value is typically the better the ads do. So. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to the channel. Uh, I plan on coming out with one to two videos every week that are similar to this one. Um, but yeah, if you want to reach out to me, um, my website is dataoverego.com. And then my marketing agency is Prolific Media. Uh, you can just go to that at prolific.media. Uh, we spent over $30 million now to generate over $150 million for our customers. Um, so yeah, if you have a store and you're looking for help with either email automation or with your paid acquisition, you know, we're here to help. Um, but until next time, cheers.